What's up to my friends on YouTube and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I will be showing you how you can use Google Sheets on mobile and still get all the functions of Sheets on desktop nice and easy. And this is not even through the Google Drive app. There is a separate app that Google has created specifically for this purpose. If you've used the Google Drive app before, you know how limited limiting it could be when editing it but there's a completely separate app for sheets so if you just search sheets it should come up or google sheets if you don't have it already and i'm just scrolling down there that just to show you that there is an app for every single part of the google office sort of thing so whether you need it for the google sheets or the google docs or google slides they all have a separate app for that so you could just download that app and head on over to it and I am in the interface right now and you can see it has basically all the other functions. I'm just going to create a random document here. You could title it just like you would any other document and you can just see that it is just a spreadsheet. You may have to get kind of used to uh, working here with the formulas as well as finding where everything is else is at because the layout has changed a little bit. But you can see you could free flow type in the boxes. You know, you could change the size of the boxes if you want. For example, you'll have to like double tap on it if you want to slide and change the size of the box. But that's not this what this tutorial is for. I might make some other tutorials in the future if you do want that to know how to do certain functions. But this is just a basic overview to show you that it can be possible to do whatever you're trying to do on mobile in Sheets. Another great feature that you could do here is if you want to change the color, you could easily just do so right on the interface right there. And I could go on and on about all the different features, but I'm sure you get the point by now. This is a great thing to have on your phone if you edit your sheets a lot and like to look and view at them on mobile. That's pretty much all that I'm going to cover in this video today, though. If you did have further questions, whether it be operating sheets or anything I discussed in this tutorial, comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Other than that, if you found this helpful today, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.